after dinner, when I sit down on my favorite sofa, mm. uh, it was already getting a little bit, I was getting breathless, you know. Mm. So it's getting very difficult to breathe. Okay, runner. So welcome to uh, Runterview episode 4. Today, uh, I am very, very privileged to welcome this particular guy. That day, I pointed to the wrong side. Yeah. This time, I think I point. <laughs> this I should. All right. Okay, this, um, uh, my friend, running friend here is a house designer. Okay. He designed wonderful houses. Even you see the background uh, at the moment of where he is seated, seated now is designed by himself. So recently, thank you, thank you. The, we are not talking about designing house today. We are talking about how he managed to redesign himself as well over the past year or so. Okay, and he uh, is possibly the tallest guest I have. Okay, mm -hmm. in my run interview, and from January, okay, two thousand nineteen to now, presently February two thousand twenty, he have possibly lost a grand total of around twenty five kg. All thanks, mostly thanks to running. Okay, so I'd like to introduce to you guys the one and only Max Tay. Hey guys, mornings. Yes, this is Max Day. Okay, great. Thank so, you. welcome to the show. Okay, great. So, of course, uh, uh, the, the, the how I get to know Max is uh, he is one of my uh, earliest followers of uh, my YouTube channel. And hmm. uh, in the when I just started my YouTube channel, he left a lot of uh, uh, encouraging messages. Uh, and, in, uh, and uh, sharing about his own journey on Facebook, Instagram, about his weight losses, uh, everything. So he told me that uh, I am, uh, I'm the one of the guys that uh, helped to inspire him to keep on going. But I just, I like to share with Max that actually you, you, uh, you also have the same effect on me as well. Okay. Oh, um, really? Yes. Seeing your before after pictures are uh, uh, more often than not, right? Also uh, provide me a motivation to keep on going on myself. So this is really, really awesome to be able to connect with really fellow uh, uh, social media running friends, right? Who's able to inspire one another. So Max, okay, just briefly like to share, before 1st of January, before 1st of January 2019, right? Have you ever ran? No, man. I tell you, ever since I um, stopped secondary school, hmm. left secondary school, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't exercised at all. That means uh, it was a grand total of 27 years of no exercise and lots and lots and lots of eating and binging. Wow. So, okay. yeah, so 27 years of no exercise, not to, not to say just running, no, not mm -hmm. even exercise, not even kicking the ball. Oh, okay. So, so for that's, how, that's how bad it was. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you mean after secondary school, you didn't really totally never work out. So what make yourself nope. uh, to let yourself go on you like this uh, for 27 <laughs> years? Uh? Complacency, I would say. A little bit too uh, relaxed, uh, you know, uh, um, all through my childhood until my teens and then my early 20s, I have always been a skinny fellow. Mm. So you, you get the sense that, you know, whatever you eat, you will never put on anyway, mm. you know, for me. Mm. So when I reached uh, after secondary school, when I come out for poly, mm. I, I, I almost never put on weight. I just keep eating and eating and eating and eating. You know, but by the time I reach 20 odd, Mm. It start to show, okay. right? Uh, but by then it was a bit too late, right? Yeah, because I, I really love eating so much, mm. you know. Mm. And then I, I met my uh, then girlfriend now wife uh. who loves eating, uh -huh. so she brings me all over the place eating okay. this, eating that. And the thing is, she has a very high metabolism rate, so mm. she can afford to eat all that, and I don't. My metabolism rate started to drop uh, mm -hmm. after twenty, my mid twenties. Okay. So I just keep on putting on, putting on until my my heaviest. I think uh, before I started running in two thousand and nineteen, uh. I think I was at one hundred and three kg. One hundred and three is possibly your heaviest. I would say. My heaviest. Mm. I think the, heaviest. the fact so, that you you didn't realize that you are putting on weight, yeah, is because you are super tall. So that's the thing. <laughs> So that's, that's probably it. La. Yeah, so that's probably but, when but, they put on a bit of weight, uh, they also look still look pretty handsome. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I didn't really like the way I look in pictures, which is why when I was that weight, I didn't like to take any pictures of myself. You will see a lot of pictures of my work, my, yeah. my wife, my kids, but never me. If you I see, see a picture of me, I'm uh. usually right at the corner of the uh. screen. Hiding at the corner. Know, this part cut off. Yeah. You know? 
I'll, I'll crop it off so that I don't look so round. <laughs> okay, that's very smart. You know? <laughs> So what makes you want to motivate yourself to finally get this, get uh, love yourself and really uh, take control back of your health uh, from January? It's uh, a few, I think maybe two or three points. One, the most motivating one is mm. the nagging from my wife. La. You're nagging from my wife? She's, been, she's, been she's nagging one of the culprit to... that makes you become like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's ironic. She has been... She has been nagging at me to, you know, just exercise, just yeah. go for a walk, go for a run. How many years has she, has she been nagging? Oh, I think easily four to five years at least. Uh-huh. Four to five years. Yep. Okay. Uh, then um, okay. up until 2018, she has, one, one day she actually tell me, hey, uh-huh. I tell you, uh, next year when the school reopens, when you send your boy to school, uh, yeah. I want you to walk him to school and then after that you go for a walk. <laughs> and then give me a plan daily. How are you going to do that? Wow. You know? Wow. She even planned for you. Because I think she was desperate really. I was mm. getting really, really, you know, overweight. Mm. And it, it was beginning to mm. uh, affect my health too, I think. Yeah. Because after dinner, when I sit down on my favorite sofa, mm. uh, it was already getting a little bit, I was getting breathless, you know. Mm. So mm. it's getting very difficult to breathe. Mm. So mm. partly also, I was kind of worried also. Mm. Mm. So I started, started going for a walk. Mm. Started going for a walk. Mm. And mm. then, uh, actually, at, at first, when I started in January 2019, mm. I just mm. walked only, walk, okay. walk further and further. Wow. Then awesome. after Chinese New Year, my wife, you know, mm. she was off work. And then she mm. said, hey, then what, I go and join you for a walk this morning. Oh, no. So she joined me. And then she got, she got bored with walking. So she mm. said, I'm going to run. <laughs> so she started running. So I said, I cannot mm. run. My knees were hurt. You know, I was that way. So she started running further and further. So I said, ah, I better chase after her. So I run, run, run. And then I realized, hey. Actually, I can run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wow, re- really, really. Run. I mean, in Chinese, we say very weita. Like, she started running because of you. Eh. <laughs> no, no. She doesn't run anymore. She doesn't run She's, anymore. Think, the timing timing doesn't work. Like, but uh, I think uh, hopefully next year when my, my younger child, the girl goes to primary school, yes. hopefully we can go and run together in the morning. Like. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, I also like, saw you, you guys also took part in some uh, prior event like the Yellow Prison Run. Yes. Now, that was yeah, fun. Yeah, Is it your first event? Me, like. Um, I actually know the first yeah. event was a uh, Looney Tunes run many Looney years Tunes. ago. Oh, that was cute so with, your, with your family, is it? Yeah, that was so bad. Oh, I didn't know there's yeah. a Looney Tunes run in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> that was years ago, like, I think oh. about two, three years at least. Like. Okay. Then, um, then uh, I think we joined Meiji Run, mm. another fun run with the Meiji family, 3.5km only. Yeah, that one I heard. <laughs> yeah, very good awesome. goodie bag. Uh-huh. And then the latest uh, one was the uh, Yellow Prison Run. La, and then, uh, actually, I ne- almost never joined any runs. I, I would say, I would say, uh, I, I will summarize in a way. La, the, one, I mean, the main motivation now for you to start mm. taking care of your health and start running is, mm. of course, you want to spend more quality time with your family. Am I right to say so? Very true. Awesome. Man, your children is, will be really, really proud of you. So in case you all don't know, right, Max is also a father of two. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Correct. He's That's right. Very, very lovely children from, from someone that is very shy at taking photos and <laughs> going on social media. <laughs> now I say it's more or less right, a social media addict already. At this point. My, my wife complains that I take too many selfies. Yeah, no. It's because you are super confident of your, the, the, I mean, of your looks now, of the way you manage to... Uh, uh, get your health back in a way, right? The, the, uh, the matter of fact that you are sharing all these uh, photos of your transformation story, uh, in a way, I would believe also help to motivate a lot of uh, other fellow people who are also looking, so, uh. looking to get back their fitness. That is the reason why I want Max on this show so that he will be uh, able to share his story in full and structured manner so that more people, especially those in Singapore, right, who is still neglecting their health, will still tell me no time to run, uh, all this, uh, uh, what is more important, all this. So you, I have to say, right, it's only a matter of prioritizing. It's not, it's not able not to find time. If you value mm. your health enough, if you value uh, really, really uh, spending really great time with your family, right, you will find time to start running. Okay? Yeah, you're so right. You're so right, bro. Awesome. It's awesome. absolutely that. <laughs> So I'm very, 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 uh, also during uh, previous uh, few weeks ago, I also have the pleasure to be able to run side by side with Mac. <laughs> yeah. Got them by the base. Yeah, uh, man. So that was very uh, interesting because uh, we ran side by side. At, at the time, he managed to uh, reach a milestone where he completed his first ever 21 kilometer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you, that you, day, you that were I'm very, very proud of him. And the group of us, right, we are called the E-Runners. We are also proud of him doing that day. You want to share a bit about this? I, I tell you, um, actually, I have never run uh, long distance mm. uh, until until I, I saw the 2XU uh, compression run in April. Mm. So I was really attracted to the t-shirt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very superficial thing, but I was really attracted to the t-shirt and I, I wanted to... I wanted to join, but unfortunately, you can only get the T-shirt if you join the 21K, which is the half marathon. Uh, and okay. prior to that, I think the furthest I ever run was like 12K. 12K. You know? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I, I sort of put out a comment on, on the one of the posts on mm. 2XU, and I mm. got a lot of encouragement from, from people who say, hey, four months from now, man, you, yeah, can, yeah. you have more than enough time to train for it. You know? So that gave me the confidence. Uh, so mm. I, uh, one of them, I think, was you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So you, you, were, you were telling me just go ahead and join la. I mean, you, even if you cannot get a very good timing, just mm. walk off. Yeah. You can always finish it. So mm. I think, yeah, why not? So I joined. So yeah. from then on, I started training for for my distance. So every okay. every weekend, every Sunday will be my my mm. LSD, my mm. long slow distance. Yes. So I stretch one uh, km every week. Mm. You know, until that run with the mm. e runners and you. Yeah. You know, uh, that was, I have never attempted uh, mm. 21K before. The mm -hmm. furthest before that was 18K. Mm. So, yeah, just go there with an open mind. Uh, just run, oh, run, run. So. And these people were like running at, yeah. you know, uh, faster than my normal pace. Uh, and I was mm -hmm. thinking, mm -hmm. Siao, I don't know whether I can or not. <laughs> so I just tried to keep up, uh, keep, yeah. up keep up, keep up, keep up. And then, hey, what do you know? We finished, man. Yeah. Thanks to you. Thanks to you and, and a few other guys who, who helped cheer me on. Yeah. We finished it, man. I was, that was so <laughs> proud of myself and that was really a milestone for me. Yeah. Sometimes and it's really wonderful thing... to be able to run in groups uh, that uh, we are right. able to motivate one another and you are able to reach the level uh, that you never thought it was possible in the past. Like 21, you cannot imagine yourself to be able to complete a 21K like one year ago, right? If someone tell you about this, uh, you, will, you will laugh at them, definitely. Just like myself, uh, if, if someone told me that I'm able to uh, run like uh, 10K in, a, uh, in like 45 minutes, if you told me one year ago, I also would laugh because that time I was struggling yeah. with 60 minutes as well. So you never know, you never know your limits yeah. until you finally reach there. Yeah, I'm very proud. You know what, bro? I have to say this. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the biggest inspiration mm -hmm. uh, was your videos of you running from Jurong to somewhere, you know, like Marina to Palestine. I tell you, those, those are like really, really my inspirations. <laughs> and my dream is to be able to do that, yeah. you know? So far, I've done a couple of those runs and it's really, really fun. Man. Yeah, really fun. Yeah, why not? One day, I'm going to run from Jurong to, to Marina. So I got the route all ported out already. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely positive that you'll be able to complete it and possibly take uh, some selfies to share with us along the way. Hey, wait, wait, I definitely will, man. <laughs> definitely. Oh, okay. Uh, of course, the viewers are definitely will love to hear some, maybe some of the setbacks, some of the things that mm. you uh, suffer along the way. Uh, mm. uh, of course, it's never smooth sailing uh, to be able to uh, get back your health. So from January all the way to uh, the, the now, right? Uh, what are some of the setbacks uh, that, 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 that really put your plan backwards, uh, that, uh, that really, really derail your plans for health? Uh? Actually, I've been very blessed in that I hardly ever get any injury. Maybe okay. because I don't really push myself that, okay. that much. Great. You know, so I, I like to, mm. I like when I, even from the beginning when I started running, uh, I, I always tell myself, just go slow. There's no mm. hurry. You know, you, you will get there eventually. Mm. Maybe you'll, you'll get there slower than others, but who cares? Mm. This is your own journey. Mm. So just go slow. Mm. For me, the more important thing is not to get any injury because mm. I started with knee pain because of mm. my weight. So mm. when I run, my knees hurt. Mm. So when it when it start hurting, sometimes you 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 may not be able to run for like one or two weeks, and that mm. is really, you know, not to say see. And actually, to me, uh, it's actually mm. a little bit uh, scary because mm. deep down inside, uh, I I'm always afraid that once I stop, uh, mm. I will not start again. Or then I'll get back to 103 kg again. <laughs> uh. So for me, why I run every day? Uh, that's mm. that's the reason. I'm scared of stopping. Stopping. Yes. You know. Yeah. So when you have an injury, you have to stop. Mm. Then then you, when you want to start again, that is mm. that is difficult. So for me, yeah. I just go slow, long, slowly, slowly, improve slowly, don't don't be in a mm. hurry. Mm -hmm. Don't be in so a hurry. The, the interesting thing is uh despite your yourself are uh, not really overly overly pushing yourself, but at the end of the day, right, you also manage to become faster and faster, interestingly. Without really, <laughs> without really, the really, reason, uh, yeah. The reason why I started going faster and faster is because mm. of this group of runners that we yeah. run with. Yeah. You know? 
previous yeah, prior to that before joining them uh, i always run alone mm. it's always a solo run for me so when you solo run uh, you don't really push yourself that much yeah. I do yeah. that. I, yeah. maybe just me uh. mm. i don't really push myself that much as just yeah. to go every day one <laughs> run you know Mm. Then when you start joining them and they are going at a slightly faster pace than you and you notice they have maybe maybe mm. they have to slow down a little bit for you, mm. then you start to push yourself a little bit more. Mm. And when you push yourself a little bit more, mm. you realize, hey, actually I can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Mm. So then you know you, you start start to go faster and faster yeah. a little bit. Huh? Yeah. Also, what I love about sharing just now is uh, you talked about is your own running journey. There's no need mm. to go and compare yourself with others, like how fast they are running or how far they are running. Correct. It's your own journey. So that is one of the uh, reasons you are able to run, run, uh, stay safe, run safe, and being able mm. to mm. be consistent at the end of the day. Yeah, that's really awesome. Actually, have you to thank also again because uh, at one stage I was beginning to um, get influenced too much by other people's speed. So mm. I was worried that I was too slow. But one mm. of your video was saying, you know, run slow to run fast. Mm. So you go slow and then eventually let your body let your body adapt and then your yeah. body will pick up the pace yeah. itself. I think that, that one mm. I don't know whether I'm lazy or not, but maybe I'm that, that one lazy, rings yeah. true to me. <laughs> Definitely <I'm not> lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to share with my uh the viewers this video as well. There's no way, there's no way that you uh, the the journey to being able to run more and uh, your, to get back your health or to become healthier, right? There's definitely a lot of road bumps mm. along the way. That there, there's there of course some mm. off days are whereby you will you will have a cheat day, whereby you really binge mm. eat. Yeah. And after that, uh, you also like Max also mentioned, it's very hard to get back on track. So mm. don't feel so bad. Don't beat yourself over it. If you really suffer from a day of not running or the day mm. you maybe you eat too much or you really have a buffet dinner or whatever, you definitely will be able to get back as long as you remember what motivates you in the first place like what Max is doing yeah it's a uh, family 100%. having quality time with your family and I'm pretty sure your whole family at the moment is super proud of their new redesign <laughs> there <laughs> that's really, really awesome. well I hope so lah. I hope so I really yeah, do hope yeah. so so that's the reason uh, that's the reason why I continue to make all these running videos is because of uh, encouraging messages uh, like Max and uh, all the other viewers right who also uh, always motivate me along the way saying uh, uh, telling me how much my videos has a, a, a little bit of influence on them uh, in really really continuing their goal for uh, go for health so uh, upon this, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, I believe you mentioned about the two X you run, okay? That you mm. are taking part. Will this be your next race? It is my next race. In fact, it's the only race I have this <laughs> yes, year at the moment. <laughs> I see. Yeah. That does, does, regis that does registering for races uh, keep you extra motivated to really go the extra mile? Oh yeah, because it, 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 how to say before two X you mm. I have never run a half marathon. So yes. this is my goal. So yeah, once I reach that goal, I think the yeah. next one is to go for another half marathon and try to improve my speed. Awesome. This is you the know, but, uh, full marathon. full marathon is so far not in my view yet. Lah. Maybe no, la, no, la. Not, not, not so far. <laughs> Even for myself, yeah. a, a, a lot of people yeah. still very surprised because I run a running YouTube channel. Ma. They are still mm -hmm. quite surprised. Hey, uh, you haven't run a full marathon before. Ah. I say, yeah, mm -hmm. why, what, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Your own journey, ma. Yeah, I want to take it slowly. Uh, for myself, we are in this for the long run. We want to run. Yes. Uh, being able uh, to run uh long and far and being able until fifties or uh, sixty, seventy, we also want to continue running. So that's the reason why we don't want to overly push ourselves. If not, uh, our legs may suffer from permanent damage that render us impossible to run, and that will be very miserable for us. I would say. Yeah, that's worse, man. Yes, correct. If possible, I would. I may be in my coffin. I will still be running. Uh, hopefully. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a very nice way to put it. Huh? Okay, <laughs> so last but not least, I would like to ask you uh, any tips uh, for people that want to really kickstart, that still couldn't find the motivation to kickstart. Uh, how will you, if you want to give them a pep talk, uh, how do you get them to get away from their couch and start running? Uh? This is difficult because uh, it's a very personal thing, but if you ask me, uh, just mm. start. The, yeah. the most important thing is to just start. Just start. One day you don't start, you will never, never achieve anything. Just go ahead and do it. Yeah. You know, start and then, then you see you, you naturally just go along. Because yeah. when you start, you realize, hey, actually I can do it, no. Yes. Uh, that's that's the most important one. Once you start, you will find, hey, actually mm. it's not as difficult as I thought. Yeah. Uh, and then every just, day, just go. On. No need to run in the first place. Like you can just walk and run. Just walk, correct. Just walk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly. A I remember that day when we run together. You have a, you have a Xin Yu Liang Yan. you have a quote. <laughs> that day, can you this say? One, oh, remember? 
This one I steal from Master Yoda one. Ah, steal from What is it? What is it? Uh, do or do not. There is no try. There's All no right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, uh, don't we, try. Yes, yes. This this line continue to ring in my ear every day. When I, <laughs> <laughs> it's right. gonna because, be my motto. When I tell you. Yeah. So for myself, I also uh, need a lot of motivation for from the people around me as well. As much as mm-hmm. I I motivate myself, right? Uh, we are a lot. Although I'm an introvert, like uh, uh like a lot of lone runners, uh, we tend to run our mm-hmm. on our own. We, uh, in, in a way, right? We also need some a lot of motivation. So thankfully, right, the social media is a godsend for introverts like us, uh, Who's able to uh, who's able to socialize, but at the same time, no need to go and meet so so much people, which is great. Mm-hmm. And being able right. to share all these wonderful stories from this guy, that guy, and all the runners, all this, right? Uh, really, really makes it more easier for us to continue mm-hmm. to stay motivated. So, Max, remember to continue sharing. Okay, I can't yeah. wait for your sharing every single day and being able to reach milestone after milestone. That's awesome. Okay. Thank you. So Thank really, you. really well. Uh, really, really happy to welcome you to our show today. So, uh, remember, if you are not running yet, okay, if you're not running yet, hopefully this video will be able to help you to kickstart and really, really uh, start to love yourself again and start to uh, start to uh, prioritize your health. That is the most important. Okay. And remember to start running. So Max, give me a high five. Uh, well, yeah. Wait, here. Okay, so take care. See you. Goodbye. All right. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye.